Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're continuing to discuss exercise as I talk a little bit more about full body conditioning. On full body conditioning day, again, I treat it like an exercise day and I do it first thing in the morning before breakfast. I believe in working that natural energy. I definitely believe morning training is better than afternoon training. Well, you're an adult. When I was a teenager, sure, I lifted weights after school because when you're younger and growing up, your body works differently than it does when you're an adult. I've been doing morning exercises ever since I finished college. And I certainly prefer it that way. Today's video is all about how I stretch before my full body conditioning days. Full body conditioning can require all sorts of exercises from you, depending on what you're planning to work on. You might be running, you might be jumping, you might be sprinting, boxing, dancing, whatever. If you were on a sports team in school or college, you know you had to stretch before practice. If you didn't stretch, that could lead to all sorts of problems in practice. You could break a bone or hear your joints crack, like your shoulders, elbows, knees, you know what I'm talking about. On weightlifting days, I don't stretch, I warm up. And that's what the trainers tell you, to warm up your lifting before you do your main lifting for the day. And on full body conditioning days, I stretch first. And you should do the same. So as you saw earlier, I was doing my groin stretches, followed by my hamstring stretches. And now, as you can see, I'm doing my lower back stretching as I sit and turn back to work the lower back. And then I go back to hamstrings, this time with the knees bent. And then I sit on my knees, one stretch with my toes down, and another stretch with my toes flat on the ground. And this works the ankles in different ways and works the knees, definitely helps the knees. To the stand-up stretches, as I stretch the triceps, Go 10 to 15 seconds on each arm, and move over to shoulders. As you can see, I'm wearing a tank top, and that's because all my workout t-shirts were dirty that day. I had to do laundry, and I had no choice but to do this wearing a tank top. <laughs> but let's bring tank tops back. Come on, I remember when I was a little kid in the 90s, tank tops were everywhere. Did you ever see Jesus Christ Superstar, the 2000 version? Everybody had tank tops in that. Come on, let's bring tank tops back in style, get rid of that negative stereotype. Now we're going back to groin stretches, as you saw me earlier, split my legs as far apart as I could, then move to the Saigon squat with my hands together, and then we move to the calf stretching as I put one leg back and bend one leg forward and switch legs. Each stretch should be for about 10, 15, 20 seconds, whatever works best for you for the exercise that you're planning to do that day. And now we're moving to the side to side calf stretching, also works the hamstrings, works the groin. Now we're going to move over to the side bends as I bend to one side, hold 10, 15, 20 seconds, and then switch sides for another 10 to 15 to 20 seconds, whatever works best for you. Now I'm not showing all of my stretches. I do other stretches too, but these are my most important stretches. I also do leg swings, but you've seen me do my leg swings in other videos. Now we're moving to the lower back turning again, this time standing, not sitting down like before this for another 10 to 15 seconds and then we switch sides for another 10 to 15 seconds then we're going to work the neck rotate the neck in one direction and then switch directions if you're a dancer you might do some dance moves that require you to turn your head a lot so you know this helps a lot then i work the quads pull the quads back i like to do this after all that stretching and then i move to some arm swings and this helps loosen my arms a little more Definitely helps when I'm running and I have to swing my arms a lot or if I'm doing a dance routine and I have to move my arms a lot, you know what I mean. And once I'm done stretching, I get very creative with my exercise. Some days I go for a long sprint. Other days I work football drills. I've also done boxing drills on other days. Over the summer, because I was hooked on Jesus Christ Superstar, I was learning dancing exercises. I was dancing to Jesus Christ Superstar, learning those routines, and then dancing to Michael Jackson, learning his routines like the Thriller dance. Honestly, it's very fun, but then I went back to sprinting after I hadn't done any running in a while and realized how exhausting that was. Uphill jogging and uphill sprinting really goes a long way. It exhausts you very quickly. I can't record myself running up a hill because holding my camera while running uphill or strapping the camera somewhere, it just adds unnecessary weight. So I can only explain it to you verbally that uphill sprinting, woo, that exhausts you real quickly. Keep your full body conditioning exercises fun, exciting, be safe. Don't do anything too dangerous. Read up on exercises before you get started on them. 
That'll help your joints in the long run. Hope you liked the discussion today. Like and share if you enjoyed the video. Share your thoughts in the comments section, and if you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. Hit the bell if you want notifications, because I'm creating for you. Have a great week and a great life, and always love yourself for who you are. Godspeed. Cause this is Thriller, Thriller Night. Your luck can thrill you more than any ghoul would ever dare try. Thriller, ooh, ooh, Thriller Night. So let me hold you tight and share a... Ah, Christ, you know I love you. Did you see our wave? I believe in you and God, so tell me that I'm safe. Christ, you know I love you. Tell me what you think about your friends at the top.